obviously there's numerous uh, amounts of training facilities and fantastic professionals in this industry uh, that have been doing this for a long time. Um, the reason why it's up here in the Northwest now, why I wanted to plant up here, because there's nothing like it up here that these that athletes can now choose to go to. If you're going to Montana, if you're going to Montana State, Idaho, Idaho State, Boise State, Eastern, Central, Western Oregon, Eastern Oregon, Washington, Washington State. We're talking specifically these agents that are representing these athletes. They see something there, and when that speed gets better, it's going to be an eye-opener now for the scouts that are coming to represent all the different teams that are out there. Again, we want to give them that first look, knowing that once that first look is established, then getting into a team or a camp or a tryout, let's say, they'll have the football skills to take care of the rest of it. But it's that speed that's the big piece. We want to be that stepping stone. We want to provide that key to open that door where it's going to have that potential opportunity to, to play in the NFL. And if that's not what's calling, then you certainly have the CFL or even quite possibly the AFL. But if you have the mindset to play after college and you want to play professionally and you're from the Northwest, um, this is something that I should, you should honestly consider at least coming here for a full week, get this work in, compare it to anything else that you're going to go through in the country, and, uh, and then make your assessment after that. Without a shadow of a doubt, you, you come to APS. Oh, you're serious about your career, and you're trying to take that next step into your career and just be in the best shape of your life, and you know, you come to APS, definitely, hands down. If you're preparing for your pro day or your NFL combine opportunity, it's a once in a lifetime event. You're never gonna get a chance again to hone your skills and show them in front of so many NFL scouts that are gonna be there. Um, one image of how you look, how you're carrying yourself throughout the combine or throughout the pro day, um, those scouts look at everything. We teach the athlete how to deal with that. The reason why it's up here in the Northwest now, why I wanted to plant up here, because there's nothing like it up here that, these, that athletes can now choose to go to. You don't have to leave to Indianapolis. You don't have to go to New Jersey. You don't have to go to Kentucky. You don't have to go to Texas or South, Southern California or Arizona, Florida. Uh, this, this allows an option here that you can still stay here, get your studies done, if you're still finishing your degree. And it, if your family's from in the Northwest area, that's a huge bonus as well. Um, I think it provides a viable option. Normally what we say is if you take an athlete and you take any efficiency the way you can gain two tenths. So if we're talking a 40 and a guy, an athlete is five, five flat, he's now four eight. Normally what I take a look at is arm swing uh, of an athlete, foot strike, um, stride length, things of those natures, and then we try to bring them to within that athlete's framework, um, correct the arm swing. Um, and once that piece is dialed in, then we start working on some of the other pieces. A lot of times when the athletes come in, and not a lot of times, but almost every time an athlete comes in, that's the thing we work daily, is that efficiency piece. It's like getting rid of the bad, bringing in the new. Are, are they good at throwing weights around? Are they a good speed guy? Are they good, you know, quick agility, fast moving guy? And so we we'll, we'll want to prove on, on, on each and every one of those and kind of focus on certain ones where, where they may be lacking. You know, a scout says, hey, he needs to work on this. All right, now we need to know he needs to get a lot faster in this, this drill in particular. And it, when it comes down to, to the NFL combine and their pro days, it's essential that they perform well on those days. Every meal plan is going to be so different. I'm going to sit down with each athlete and we're going to develop their whole nutrition periodization plan. A lot of athletes will tolerate different things before their workout, so we would find that perfect thing that they feel great during the workout. So we're going to, we're going to find the amount of food and what kind of food that they're going to eat before a workout. So then when they get to their pro day, they know exactly what to eat and when to eat it to feel, to feel the best and ready to work out. Just because you're a, 
elite athlete doesn't mean that you necessarily don't have some deep joint or deep muscle problems within your back where tiny muscles like this can make a big difference or a small ball and socket joint can make a big difference if you can make that capsule around there a little larger so things move more like a well-oiled machine. If things move through a bigger arc of motion then they can be more powerful. Power is the name of the game. Moving quickly through a full arc of motion. I focus on that kind of deep structure. We, may, we look at the holistic approach here at APX along with the nutritional piece, along with how much sleep you're getting, what are you doing throughout your day, um, whether it's you're still going to school or if training is the only thing that you are doing. We plan the day out from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed. And it's literally scripted out from the time we start to your pro day until the end of it. To me, the first thing I look at is how that athlete gates. Does he have that float? Okay, what does the arm swing look like? What is the stature like? So as the athletes warm up, I just, we get them out, we get them running, and I assess them. You can normally tell a lot about an athlete, how he or she warms up. So when that athlete that's going through that warm up, I, we can assess it, and from then on, we know what we need to work on. A tenth of a second can, can make or break you. Um, you know, first round, guys are making millions and millions of dollars, and, and for every round after that, you know, the money goes down to being undrafted, to being a free agent, to not getting picked up at all. Now we talk about midline. If an athlete starts crossing midline of the body, that's wasted motion. We want everything going from point A to point B, okay, as fast as we can. And if you're doing point A, B, C, and D, of course, there's that efficiency piece we're talking about. Uh, I think when it comes to combine training the high school kids, you know, they're going to go from boys to men just like we all did, you know. Like, we all started out as boys, you know. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you talk to Adrian about the training, he would tell you the same thing. Hey, you know, I was a pretty, you know, great, at, a good athlete, but, you know, after this training, I became a great athlete. So. Safety from North Carolina State, number 24, Adrian Wilson. Yeah! had Demi D'Amico Ryans, you know, fresh out of college. Um. At the second round pick of the Houston Texans, D'Amico Ryans, not only is he, he's leading the entire league in tackles, 127 tackles, three and a half sacks, an interception, forced fumble, and a fumble return. Um, Charlie Pepper that played for um, um, Packers. the Packers. school so I think some of that came came out I just went with my instincts and just tried to do whatever I could to get in the end zone and uh, Clay Matthews had a nice block at the end of spring for the touchdown and got in for the pick six. When I found out you know that this training is like one of the best trainers that I've experienced. Bigger at the same time but keeping that flexibility and keeping that agility while you're throwing on an extra lean muscle you know I think that's the biggest biggest part of you know, you can train and get bigger, but are you going to stay agile? You know, are you going to be able to move lateral? Are you going to keep your speed and everything? You know, if you're trying to take that next step to be that physical, that, that, that player with speed, and, you know, improve in your stats and your numbers, you know, you come to APX, definitely. Hands down. The 
vertical leap, zero step vertical. You have the broad jump. You have the 510 five for the shuttle. You have the L drill. You have the 60 yard shuttle. And you have the premier 40 yard dash, along with the 225 pound bench test. Yeah. We get all those things done. All the all the, the the combine testing and everything that goes into that, the mental prep, the physical ability, and to make sure those results are achieved to fit you in the modality to get a draft, to get to, to get to be drafted or, or, or to get a look, to get invited to a camp. Um, but those other entities, those things of, of how you're doing, uh, the things in between drills, how you're interacting communication wise to whether it's not other scouts, other coaches that are there, other athletes, are you a positive influence? Are you a negative influence? What are the appropriate and right things to say? Um, what are things that you want to steer clear from? Um, it's all about first impression. And you only get, you get a glimpse. There might be 13, 15 scouts there from different NFL organizations. And each one of them might just have a five to 10 second window that they'll remember you by. We're in the gym, we're on the field, we're um, hitting the stairs, we're hitting yoga sessions two times a week. Um, you know, we get into aquatics as well, and I think that's, that's huge. Hydrotherapy is, is good for recovery in a sense, and, and you know, you, once you're in the pool, your body is more apt to recovery. At the same time, we get some work in there where we're doing, um, you know, it's a little bit less than body weight, so you're taking pressure off the knees, the joints, the, the, um, the muscular system there. So I think it's very important where they can get some movement and work and, 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 and being in water, you know, you're gonna work a, a different muscle group category, and a um, little resistance against, against the water. So I think, you know, we get in there, you know, once or twice a week and um, really take a load off the body and, and uh, get them recovered and get them working at the same time. So the nutrition, periodization plan we basically look at their caloric intake, their protein intake, carbohydrates and fats, and then we manipulate it to each athlete because each athlete is different and we have different meal plans. So I think it helps out uh, a lot having a nutritionist on site where you know you can conversate and learn like what should I eat, what time should I eat, uh, how much of it, how much should I eat at a time. Interaction yeah. takes place all the time. We are talking about each athlete. Before I meet with them, I'm talking to Raul, Andrew, about where they're at with their training status, how they're feeling during the training, um, kind of what they've already talked about with nutrition, just so I can follow up with it, and then give them more advice on different things. Um, different things like if, if they're losing a certain amount of weight during the workout, if it's hydration needs, if it's we need to start feeling you before, and then changing things what you eat afterwards, just things like that. So we're constantly interacting, all, all of us. I do a series of tests, certain of palpations or pushing on certain areas of the body, and I can find areas that are tender that tells me where a certain reflex within their body, within their pelvis or their knee or their muscle or their neck or, or their ribs, whatever, where that reflex isn't quite in tune. And I can retune that through a, a strain counter strain technique and get that retuned so when the muscle stretches, it contracts at a more smooth level, just makes the whole feedback, the whole proper reception neurology of a body better. If a person knows where his body is in space and can control that, he can be more effective, more efficient, more balanced, more powerful.